Hey everyone, it's Joe here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center. I hope you are all doing great and having a great week. I am bringing you guys the mobility slash stretch break for the week. We're going to change it up and do something fun for you guys. And we are going to do animal flow. So every movement is just an animal movement. Follow along. You've probably seen some before either in our previous workouts or stretch breaks. But we're putting it all together for a fun little Warm up, you could do this at lunch, you could do this as a pre-workout, you could just do this before bed just to get some blood flowing and feel better. Focusing on the hips, low back, just getting the body moving. So let's get rocking. We are gonna start on the floor and also a mat would help or if you're on carpet that would help because you're gonna need to be getting in the kneeling position. First movement, you're gonna go wide, is gonna be a frog stretch, right? So instead of the tabletop, we're gonna take those knees wide and I'll show you from the front. Now my hips are very tight here, so this is a good one for you. Try to get these feet facing outward, so don't tuck the toes. Try to face the feet outward and get that neck neutral. And then I am gonna slowly hinge back. Now if you feel like it's just too wide, bring those knees in a little bit, but really try to keep those feet outward. Good. So after that frog stretch, you notice I was just rocking back and forth, back and forth, just playing with the range of motion. That's a really good hip stretch for tight hips. Next movement we're going to do, we're going to tuck the toes. We're going to hit you guys with a down dog. Now I like to pedal it out with my down dogs, keeping my neck neutral. So take it nice and slow, really hitting one calf and also ankle. Really good ankle stretch here. Good for the hamstrings as well. Or you can pulse like this, or if you just wanna stay static, just stay static. Get 30 seconds deep breathing, excellent. So after we hit that down dog, we're gonna hit another glute hip stretch here. We're gonna go with the pigeon. So this is really good before you go out for your run or after a run to stretch out those glutes, hips. Try to keep your shoulders and hips squared. Hips are squared and then you're just leaning over that foot and eventually after sinking into it, you might be able to get those elbows onto the ground to just sink into it. Excellent. And again, play with the range of motion. If you wanna walk those hands out over the knee, go the other direction. We're just trying to get you warmed up and get you moving. So obviously go right and then left or go weak and strong leg. Next, we are going to hit, still on the mat, we're going to hit a cobra movement. So another yoga move. Cobra. Good stretching your hip flexors, your abs. To advance this up, if you have yoga blocks or anything, you can put your hands on those to add some range of motion. But notice my neck and eyes are facing upward. Excellent. Cobra, if you feel like it's too much holding for all 30 seconds, bounce in and out for 10 seconds, take a couple second break, then pop back into it. Next, we are going to do a bird dog. So this one's really good pre-workout to get your glutes firing, get your abdominal muscles working, and also your shoulders. So bird dog, you've probably seen it before. I'm gonna set up my foot and arm. My wrist, elbows, and shoulders are stacked and I'm not rotating all over the place. I'm using my core and glute muscles to stay flat. So I'm gonna lengthen and squeeze, moving nice and slow. Nice, slow movements here. And what I want you to focus on while you're in that tabletop position, so you're right here, bringing that belly button, bringing it in to your spine. So you're engaging your core and breathing out, staying tight on each rep. So slow each rep down, fully stretch, stretch with the heel, stretch, stretch with your arm. And you're not reaching, but you're stretching, so lengthening. Excellent. So after our bird dog, we're going to finish it out with a cat cow. So I'm in my tabletop position again, and this is it. You might have seen it before if you've done a yoga class. Excellent movement. 
to get your thoracic spine moving, especially if you're sitting all day long. This is a really good one to just get you moving. And same thing as that bird dog. I want you focusing on bringing that core muscles in when you're in this cat, as well as the cow. And noticing I'm sending my eye gaze up and then curling my neck in. And that is going to do it for our animal mobility flow. Hope you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you all next week. Cheers.